Who needs storylines when you have nothing but wrestling? No, but in all seriousness, this Raw was awesome. I was like, uh, we had our King Queen of the Ring tournament, and I don't think, I don't think there was anything really wrong with Raw. To be honest, I thought I was like. This is probably the first time where there was a... I mean, don't get me wrong. Okay, I'll take that back. Cause I'll get to a spot a little bit later. But this was really wrestling heavy, this one. Of course, it should be with a whole tournament going on. Uh, I was like, we did have a couple promos here and there that, uh, you know, kind of went a little bit long and a little bit iffy. But for the most part, like I said, top notch. Uh, I was like... You know, I was like, with the storylines and promos, you you know, there's always something in between where it could be, like, really good, wavering, okay, and, you know, but when you get really, you really just got the wrestling, there's really no bad that you could really, really say, you know, nitpicks here and there. Um, I will say that I, at least, okay, at least with the women's uh, queen in the ring, I wish that it was a little bit more balanced in 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 some a, in some aspects uh, compared to the the men's. But like I said, it was not bad. Uh, I was like, for instance, I was like, we got Ilya versus Ricochet. I was like, and I and I will say they let all these matches breathe. They let all these matches get time. They let the get time get shine. The, the wrestlers get shine. Uh, so I was like, everybody had their own, like, enough to showcase, enough to see how we all feel about each person, the crowd, uh, the new ones, and all this other stuff, see where everybody's at. Uh, but, yeah, no. So I was like, we first, I was like, Judgment Day comes out, and, you know, I was like, the whole thing with back, at Backlash where uh, Damon Priest sort of goes off on his teammates for being up Jay, I was like, they like, oh, we apologize behind the scenes, but Damon's like, no, I gotta, I gotta come out here and sort of, like, basically, he has to apologize for his action, because his action was in front of people, so he has to also apologize in front of people, like, it's a whole, it's only fair kind of thing, which, you know, I can respect that, um, you know, I was like, it's, it's sort of like the same, you know, kind of like thing in life, like, you know, you berate somebody or something like that in front of people and all the other stuff yes it may make sense to you know i'm like apologizing in general is good but also sort of doing it in front of those same people to try to understand like you know hey i was on one i blew my gasket i was too much so with that we get word that drew's not gonna be able to face finn which i thought that would have been a really great match because he's hurt uh, and he gets replaced basically by Jay Uso. Now, I I didn't really necessarily like it. I'm not gonna lie. I did think that I, I would have liked if somebody else got there. If um, don't get me wrong, it sort of worked in the in the story of everybody from the Judgment Day because they just had their beef with Jay. And like during like during and later on the match, Drew came out to sort of be like out to out to Jay, and you know they got their whole beef as well. But I would say that I would have liked I don't know somebody else who may have not gotten the shine or something like that, or somebody that's in the back that I don't know. I was like I guess with Jay, I'm kind of like I don't know what's I don't know. I mean, I don't get me wrong. It's cool that he's there because, you know, I was like, everybody loves him. We all seen how everybody was rocking in France and in, uh, Raw in general. Everybody loves him. But, like, like for instance, they would have put, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been a great match or nothing like that, but they would have put Karen Zauer or something. I was like, that builds on the, 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 the Chad Gable one and Judgment Day at the same time. But I also understand, like, that's not really going to fly. Um, I was like, one person I thought they would put would be Braun Breaker, and he sort of had that question uh, later on when he uh, when he talked to Pierce about why he wasn't there. And I was like, because to me, I was like, 
why why necessarily went. Now I sort of get it for the because Ilya won against Ricochet, so I understand that you won't want to put two like those two in that same bracket. So I do, I do understand that. Although I'm like, you could have Finn lose his next one or whatever like that, or you could have you Dragon Lee. Uh, I like that. I was like. You know, you could. I was like, you could have used some other people. I think in there as well too. I was like, I think New Cast got drafted to Raw, so I was like, you could have used Tyler Bates, or you know, Pete. Dun you know what I'm saying? But anyway, Jay's in there. Jay got the win over Finn. He gets to move on, and then we get to Ilya, and we get to Ricochet, who put on a banger of a match. Like it was, we knew that Ilya was going to win, but the match itself was such that you wouldn't have, like, you wouldn't have been too shocked that Ricochet would have got it. You would have been shocked how Ricochet would have won against the newcomer, but it was a good enough match where, like, if you didn't know that Ilya was new, you wouldn't have already figured out who was going to win kind of thing. And so I was like, that's how good of a match it was, that that without extra information, you wouldn't know where that would have gone. Um, I was like, yeah, so that, I was like, and I also, too, I think also... I think it was a it was a really good match for Ilya and Ricochet of uh, Ilya not only being able to showcase you know himself in general, uh, and Ricochet's are always a really good pair of hands to also wrestle, but not making it easy, Ilya, but also not you know not making him look like you know like like it, like he's like he like he won like a new like you know like sometimes they do with the new the new people they have them win in a way that's like like i'm not supposed to be here winning when he actually won outright um yeah so no that, that was a really good match um but going back a little bit after drew seeing jay win he basically was mad at pierce and was like why couldn't he wrestle because he had a bad elbow and he pierce like it's your fault you shouldn't have said anything so so basically drew gets in his car peels out and not less than five seconds later, CM Punk shows up and is like, oh, where's Drew? Oh, I just missed him. Hot damn. Well, I'm going to go to the ring. And he goes to the ring, and basically he says that he basically got five and 45, four, well, 46 minutes to see if Drew will come back in that amount of time. Because that's how long he's going to do his like little promo. And he basically like, everybody shoots tweets and stuff like that at Drew because we know that he's going to see him. And stuff like that. Now, while he's in there, there's one of them things where I was like, I get they let him just breathe and just do sort of, I mean, sort of do what he wanted to do. Because uh, you could tell, like, he told he told a story about how he got hurt, how it was like a blessing in disguise, all this other stuff. How he how he thought he took a, a Drew took his uh, WrestleMania moment away, but maybe he gave him a new purpose in general. Um, but you could tell, like it, like he was just there, like he was just like really trying to blow off the time to, of that five minutes or whatever like that. Um, which I was like, I'm glad to sort of work within the story of everything because I think that would have been sort of an issue if he would have, you know, like if it would have been that thing where like he takes time away from somebody else and or somebody other than match, especially if it would have been like the women because that happened quite a bit as well too. Uh, but it didn't. Everything seems to go on plan basically. He's just like, next time I see you, Drew, it's going to be a problem. But now we got two people technically injured. So I feel like this is going to be a back and forth for a good while until Punk is able to. Because I, like, I think Drew can wrestle. But I think they're just sort of doing this both that way. They can just prolong it both. And it's like, cool, now Drew's hurt. Now it's a little bit easier for them to stay in separate corners. Um, I was like, we got a really fun match between EO and Natalia once again. Nobody thought Natalia was going to win, but also I was like, EO being on SmackDown and now being on Raw, I do think it's a different set of eyes to see EO. So I was like, here, I think it put on, she put on a really good match. But also, I, I was like, this is one of the, in a while that I've seen like Natalia, like me for seeing Natalia wrestle in a while, and I like, I didn't see her match on NXT or nothing like that. That... I that I liked and I felt like she was actually wrestling in the flow of things instead of just doing, you know, her set of moves or whatever, uh, or like how she was being with like Tegan Knox for a while, which you know they broke them up. So I was like, I guess there was no blow off or pain for or 
payment there for anything. Um, yeah, and then after that, the Code of Kai basically cut a promo that Damage Control is there, and they're coming after him. everybody. You know, normal stuff. But EO gets the win, what like we thought. Um, yeah, so then I was like, so then we all we also got I was like we got some funny stuff with our truth and stuff like that. Uh, I was like, our truth is funny, even if it's even if it's sometimes just like, oh, it's there. Um, we got Ivy Niles and Zoe Stark, and this is one of the things I did have a problem with because I don't because they're both like they, yeah they've been on the roster for about uh you know I was like. I guess I was like Zoe's been on there for almost about a year. I was like Ivy been on there for at least probably about eight, but I still but they're still they're young to me and I was like they're still newcomers. To, I was like they're yeah they're not you know so it's like why should I was like I wish one of them should have been like against Selena and the other one against Shayna. Like I was like now I was like. I don't think you do Shane and Zoe in this first round matchup necessarily. You do that like in the second round, but I think it's I think it's better to put the young the young person versus a little bit of a more better and steady hand. And also too, you don't like like Zoe didn't Zoe didn't come ready to come out of the so we don't know how she was heard with everybody else. Uh, which you know, she sort of get she's. I was like, people like her, but I was like, she wasn't as hot as what she was like like a few months ago. Uh, Ivy Niles, I was like, she did get a little bit of a pop as well too. But to me, I'm like, but then you got two people, and they was like, they sort of botched. They they botched a couple times in this match, um, and not the way that I like the like botching to be. Um, and that's where I sort of wish that they had so another some other veteran kind of presence here. Just because I'm like, I'm like I I haven't like that like they don't seem like they have necessarily the, the, the chemistry I was like or whatever like like I know like Oscar wasn't able to be in the match because she was hurt uh, against uh, Valkyria but Kyrie I was like Kyrie saying it but I know sometimes she could be a little funny or like to me I was like I, I, I and also too I think that. You have them both sort of advance. You sort of have like your new ones advance. I guess a little bit more. I was like, you know, like they can lose against EO. That's fine. Um, I was like, you know, like you can lose against certain people and be fine. But I was like, but you know, like in a match against Natalia, you're gonna lose. Um, like to me, I was like, like say EO would have been against Ivy Niles. That would have been a good matchup because I'm like EO can win. It doesn't hurt Ivy Niles. But it's a good. But I was like, but EO's been here for a while, versus someone young as Ivy. Like that would have been a good matchup. And Zoe versus Natalia, that have been fine because everybody's fine. But Zoe, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the matchup. I was like, to me, there wasn't enough for either one to where I was like, you felt it in the match where it was kind of like, mm, or whatever. Where it's like when it was Valkyrie versus Dakota, everybody's behind Valkyrie already because they know from NXT and from, from being Becky's friend, but also beating Becky, that she got a little bit more backing behind her in this match. And I was like, it would have been bigger if it was Oscar, but it had to be Dakota Kai, which sort of like sucks because, you know, I was like, I know it was last probably last minute because I was like, I would have liked to see like if Dakota was going to be in it to, to go, but because I was like, Oscar would have lost. Um... I I I would think I would think so. I was like, could I like being Oscar sort of big deal? She beat Becky, so I was like, that's why I'm saying she would have had two former women champion and NXT champions underneath her belt. So that would have been a good look for her. And I was like, that that's a good showing for her. Um, I was like, but still, I was like, but I was like, I still think that Zoe Stark and Ivy did enough in the match where it was still a good match. I just would have, I was like, I just sort of sucked. And I'm like, I was like, I would have. I would have liked both of them to sort of go on, but I think it's but it's fine. I was like, you gotta do some eliminating. It just happens. Um, but yeah, I think I think Zoe's the the good choice here, just because I was like, I think I think you gotta sort of build Zoe back up to be like this badass. Where I think Ivy now sort of are. I think I think she already has it a little bit more that I think you can easily do stuff with her, and I think you do with Zoe at this at this moment. Um, so we, we got sort of a half match with Sammy's with uh Chad Gable and Bronson Reed. 
it was a really good match, you know, of course, big versus little. But Sami Zayn basically is just like, yo, I'm tired of all y'all. And he just comes in and starts beating the hell out of Chad and starts beating out of Bronson. But not too long after that, that Bronson basically just knocks, de destroys both of them. And to the point that, hey, we're going to end up getting a triple threat in a couple weeks. Um, then they brought, they brought Becky out for a promo. And this was one of them times where it was kind of like, but at the same time, I was like, hey, sometimes they be over here having the dudes just talk a long time, not to be about nothing. Then I'm like, can we speed this up? Then I'm like, hey, Becky should also get the chance to do the same thing. And they was over here asking her questions and talking to her. And first it was about her outfit in the Kentucky Derby. Hey, whatever. And I was like, I'm fine. That's actually the part I was fine with. But once they started talking about like the people involved in the match, I was like, it was just sort of rambling because you know she had good things to say about certain people, like Valkyria, of course, that's her buddy. Um, I was like, she had. I was like, she sort of just ran a promo of using herself in place of, cause she, cause I was like, there was like, like she talked about uh, I'm a fire where uh, being the longest UK champ and being the longest women's champ. Cool. Then, then Albert, then, uh, then Dawn, she basically didn't have nothing for. Zelina didn't, she didn't really have nothing for. Um, you know, it was just sort of like generic, just like, I know they're hungry and they're fierce. And that was just like it. Until like Liv Morgan came out and basically it's like, hey, when am I going to get my uh, title shot? You do a lot of this talking, but you ain't talking about me. Um, which is funny because I was like, it was almost the opposite of CM Punk's where he was like, Drew, all you do is is talk about me. But I was like, basically, you ain't got nothing. That, like, you just hate yourself because of it. It's sort of a different way. Um, yeah, we just had damage control come out. And basically, it's like, you know, you're on borrowed time. And they surround the ring. Liv jumps out. And then Becky just starts getting a three-on-one. Then Valkyrie comes in. And saves them, and that's how that match whole sets up. Um, and then for the end of the night, we got Drew. Uh, no, we got not Drew. I was like, we got Sheamus versus Gunta. And by God, they was hitting the hell out of each other. I mean, hitting the hell out of each other. There's like one point where like Gunta hits Sheamus in the back, and they showed the the back of Sheamus, and all you see is the whole handprint. Like all, like all the hands where it just like he just, like like he just like some old school like lay some skin on me and it was like literal, um, but yeah no it was just hard hitting where with his chops out of her chops out of her chops which when we get that Ilya and we get that Gunther match those chops are gonna be ridiculous, but it was just chop after chop like hit after hit I was like the knee strike that that Sheamus was giving Gunther. That was ridiculous. But basically, but uh Seamus tried to go for a bro kick, sort of missed, got the leg caught on the rope. Gunja sort of backed away, which allowed uh Luvik to like uh like tie up his leg and then kick his leg, and then after that, he basically had a wounded leg the whole all like the rest of the match. And Gunta basically had him tap out the same way as ever was tap out. And I think I I feel like that's how he pretty much is going like I think you're going to see that's how Gunther probably ends his matches with this submission move. Uh, just two weeks in a row, I don't see why not that he doesn't... Like, he doesn't have a finishing move, but you do see that he does stick with a certain move for at least a good period of time. Um, and then it normally takes somebody, like, beating it before he, like, switches it up. But, yeah, no, I was like... Gunther gets to gets the uh, the move on, and I was like, I think he'll face either Kofi or Ray. Uh, I think that's probably going to be one of these TV matches or or internet matches. I was like, I don't I don't remember how they described the same thing with Shayna and Zelina. Um, that's also going to be like one of those where it's like I think you just we're just going to end up probably seeing on Twitter or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, next, I was like, next week looks like it's a really good uh, set of matches. Uh, we're going to have this, I was like, I'm really surprised they didn't do, they didn't, 
I mean, I know it's Raw, but I felt like they should have sort of said what SmackDown's going to be, even though, like, they alluded to it, but they never said who was going to be the participants. So I sort of feel like they should have did that. I, th I It's going to be really intriguing to see SmackDowns, though. I was like, uh, I like, maybe not necessarily the men. I was like, even though I can't think of, like, who necessarily would be on the men's side. You would have, to, I was like, I wonder, like, you know, if it's like, a, like, They'll do like solo will be in it. Uh, I was like, cause I was like, they, I, I, they don't seem like they have enough on their roster to do. Where like for instance, Logan Paul won't be a part of it. That that's what I'm trying to say. The women's, I'm like, could you do enough of the women's that, like, would you like if Jade and Bianca both gonna be in it but be separate? You know, uh, I was like, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. But anyway, for Raw. Hey, no wrong. If SmackDown's gonna be like that, which they might not have as, I was like, well, they gotta have the same amount of matches, even though SmackDown's shorter. Yeah, they gotta have the same thing. They did cut, you did cut CM Punk and Becky's thing, and I was like, you just only do the Bloodline thing over there and didn't have matches the whole time, right? I was like, hell, if you had the Bloodline in the match, you could do that. Anyway, they'll figure it out. But anyway, until next time, we'll see the rest of the King of Ring. Peace.